Zachary Horwitz, an actor in low-budget horror and science fiction movies, has agreed to plead guilty to running a massive Hollywood Ponzi scheme. Horwitz, 34, admitted in court papers that he duped investors into giving him more than $650 million for fictitious movie deals with HBO and Netflix. While Horwitz repaid much of the money in order to lure victims into investing more, he also spent large sums of it to finance his lavish lifestyle, according to his September 1 plea agreement with the U.S. Attorney's Office in Los Angeles. Horwitz acknowledged that he has failed to repay $231 million. The agreement calls for Horwitz to plead guilty to one count of securities fraud at a hearing on October 4. Prosecutors indicated in court records they will ask you. District Judge Mark C. Scarcy to impose a hefty sentence in light of the huge sum Horwitz swindled. He faces up to 20 years in prison. Horowitz's attorney, Anthony Pacheco, did not respond to requests for comment. Horowitz admitted in the plea agreement that for seven years he falsely represented to investors that his film company, One In Capital, LLC, was buying foreign distribution rights to movies, then licensing them to Netflix, HBO or other platforms to stream online in Latin America, Australia, Europe, and Africa. Investors would lend one in capital from $35,000 to $1.5 million per film deal, and Horwitz guaranteed he would repay them within a year with a return of 25% to 45%, according to the plea agreement. But Horwitz acknowledged in the agreement that the distribution and licensing contracts were forged. The effort to con investors into thinking they would eventually be repaid included showing them fake correspondence he claimed to have exchanged with Netflix and HBO executives. More than 250 investors fell victim to Horwitz's scheme, the plea agreement says. They included several of Horwitz's closest friends from college, along with their parents, grandparents, siblings and in-laws, some of whom lost their retirement savings. Brian R. Michael, a lawyer for three of the college friends, said his clients were pleased that Horwitz is being held accountable for his criminal fraud. The college friends have been trying to help federal investigators recover Horwitz's assets so that victims can rebuild their lives after the devastating harm he has caused so many people, Michael said. Horwitz, who grew up in Florida and Indiana, moved to Los Angeles in 2012. He befriended two brothers who helped him break into the film business, producer Julio Halavis and his brother Diego, a director and producer. Under the name Zach Avery, Horwitz appeared in a series of their low-end films including Trespassers and The Devil Below. The Ponzi scheme turned Horwitz into a wealthy man. He traveled by private jet and bought a $5. 7 million Beverly Wood House with a screening room, gym and one, 000 bottle wine cellar, according to court records.